Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Wrigley Field in Chicago. Welcome to Phillies baseball. And today, a matinee, the Phillies and the Chicago Cubs here on the Video Game Network. Brandon G here with you for another storm of the Phillies baseball. Phillies coming off of a win against the Tampa Bay Rays. And we are at beautiful Wrigley Field where the Phillies look to take the series from the Cubs or possibly a sweep. Wrigley Field has been renovated through the first few seasons. Chad Billingsley on the mound. And Ryan Sandberg starting lineup here for the Phillies. It'll be Revere, Utley, Jordan, Franco, Beltre, Perez, Brown, and Howard. Billingsley will be the batter. That lineup will face Jigarita, who is 6-5. He has a 2.15 ERA, 99 hits, 30 walks, has 113 strikeouts and 125 in two-thirds of the innings. He's pitched 19 games, so he has pitched a lot of innings. But it's been one of the... The best pitchers on the staff for the Cubs, even though he is 65. The Cubs haven't won a whole lot, and here's the Cubs lineup. As you see, with Miguel Montel and Javier Baez. So the Cubs have taken the field, and Ben Revere will lead off for the Phillies. He's batting at 276 with three home runs. He leads the Phillies in stolen bases. And the first pitch of the game is inside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Weekend series here at Wrigley Field. And he had a deep left field. Left field is going back and this ball is out of here. Home run, Ben Revere to lead off the ball game. And the Phillies jump to a one to nothing lead here in the first inning. As Rivera's fourth home run of the season. And he jumped on that one, a lead off homer for Revere. Yeah, he just jumped on that one. He is good at hitting that. He doesn't have a crazy swing. He just slinged it and hit it into the bleachers. As we there, his fourth home run. Here's Chase Sutley. He is the batter, and he takes a strike. No balls and one strike to Chase Utley. Utley betting at 289, 15 home runs, 45 RBIs. And sometimes these ball balls can fly out of Wrigley Field here. Rivera just hit one. There's one ball and one strike. And the curve on the inside corner. One and two to Utley. And Utley hits this one in the center field, but that'll be caught by the center fielder. One down. And here is Brandon Jordan. Jordan batting at 321. He is third in the National League in that department. Ten home runs and 40 RBIs. He's done well coming back off of the disabled list. Well, he was on there until the All-Star break. He missed half of June and most of Ju and the early part of July. And Jordan hits a base hit in the left field. Bring up Mikel Franco. Franco batting at 306. He's got 15 home runs, 42 RBIs. And 
Franco skies this one to right field. That ball's hit well, and it is gone! Home run, Mikel Franco. Number 16 on the season. And the Phillies jump to a 3 to nothing lead here in the first inning. Franco is continuing his tear. Since he's joined the Phillies in mid-June, 16 home runs. And this ball got out of here in a hurry. Here's Adrian Beltre, batting at 283. He has 12 home runs and 56 RBIs. That's Franco's 16th home run. Beltre hits this one on the ground, a shortstop, and Beltre's thrown out. Sterling Castro fielded that one. And here's Salvador Perez. Perez batting at 282. He's got seven home runs, 57 RBIs. Strike to Perez. Back to the, oh, what a play by Castro. Fire over the first. I thought that one was going to be a base hit. But Castro made a nice play from shortstop. Making a play over to Rizzo. Phillies get three on home by Rivera and Franco. They lead it 3 0. Tells the bat in the bottom of the first. Here's Joe Madden starting lineup for the Chicago Cubs with Stalella, Dexter Flower, Anthony Rizzo, Jorge Sala, Miguel Montero, Castro, Javier Baez, Christian Orphia, and Jake Arietta, and O'Face. Chad Billingsley, who was 8-6, he has a 5.28 ERA in 19 games, 102 thirds innings, 72 strikeouts, and 29 walks. He'll face Tommy Lastella. Lastella batting at 267. He has one home run and 25 RBIs. One strike. Ball and one strike. Inside, two and one. Two and two to count. Live ball, right field. Jordan puts it away. One down here in the first inning. Take a look at Kelt's, uh, Billingsley's scouting report. He's got that four-seam fastball up to 88 to 93 miles per hour. That's his most fastest pitch. It's Dexter Flower. Batting 294, 10 home runs. One strike. Ground ball to Utley, two outs. Here's Anthony Rizzo, 287. You take a look at his home versus the road. Batting better at home, eight home runs. So the friendly confines has been friendly to him. Not friendly on this bat pitch as he pops this one up. Ben Rivera will put it away. Now to retire the Cubs here in the bottom of the first. They go in order. We go to the second inning. 3 nothing Phillies. The 
Welcome back. Dominic Brown will lead off here in a second. He's landing at 274. He has 15 home runs. And Brown hits this one to deep left field. That ball's carrying out of the park. Home run, Dominic Brown. There's 16 for the season, and the Phillies lead 4 nothing here in the second inning. Wow, I mean, the Phillies are just hitting the ball well here. That's their third home run of the game, and we're in the bottom, we're in the top of the second. Nobody out. Boom. There's Ryan Howard. He's batting at 173, 11 home runs. As they move the shift over to Howard. Strike him out. Played the shift well. Oh, but he bounced the ball up there, and Howard's going to be safe on an error. A Rizzo. He just bounced, he could have caught it, and it bounced up there, but Rizzo cannot, he had bounced, but Rizzo should have put it into his glove for the out, because he had enough time to get Howard. It'll be an error on Rizzo, and here's Chad Billingsley. One strike to Billingsley. Got that over. Now Billingsley is going to try to bunt. He bunts it. They go over the first for the out on the second. So the sacrifice is good. Now bring up Ben Revere. Revere homered in the first inning. Strike to Rivera. Phillies have hit the long ball pretty well in these last seven games. There, hits this one. That's a base hit. Howard will go to third. The Phillies have runners at first and third with one out for Chase Utley. Five hits, four runs, and one in one third inning for uh, uh, for um, Aurelia. That's not usual. Here's Utley. Utley hits it foul. over the first not in time run, run, go. there goes Howard will score so an RBI for Revere make the score five nothing so Revere uh, excuse me Utley with an RBI ground out we're gonna bring up Brandon Jordan That'll be an unearned run because of the error. Quick. 
back through the middle. But Castro makes the play over the first. That'll retire the Phillies. But the Phillies get two runs. Dominic Brown homers. Phillies leaving one on base. We go to the bottom of the second. Phillies lead it five to nothing. Here's Jorge Soler. Fanning at 290 with 14 home runs. One strike. A ball and one strike. Popped him up. Playable. And Ryan Howard is there. Don't make the play. And they'll bring up Miguel Montero, who's batting at 247 with six home runs. Montero takes the ball. The ball and no strikes. Two balls and no strikes. Two and one now. Little nubber, but Billingsley makes the catch. And that is two outs. Garland Castro. And the ball and no strikes. Castro, the 246 hitter, eight home runs, 34 RBIs. And a right field. That's a base hit. First hit of the game for the Cubs. Here's Javier Baez. On strike. Ooh. Ball, like he's got that curveball. And he can get wild with it at certain points. Here's a strike, one ball and two strikes. Billingsley has thrown 20 pitches. Rudder goes. That ball is hammered in the left field. Brown going back. This ball is really carrying. And he'll make the catch. That'll retire the side. Cubs get a hit in the inning. They leave one. We go to the third. Five nothing Phillies. There's Mikel Franco. He homered in the first the inning. Shortstop. Michael. Franco hits this one to right field. And it is caught by the right fielder. One down. Here's a Philly schedule. They'll have the Cubs two more times and off and had the Blue Jays for two. Back home with the Atlanta Braves at Thursday and Friday. Here's Adrian Beltre. They have a Braves for a big four-game series. They have a Phillies really trying to separate themselves from the rest of the pack in the National League East. Beltre fouls it. Two balls and one strike. Oh, man, are you crazy? Look at him pops it up. Over to Rizzo at first base, and he will make the play. There's one out. Excuse me, two outs here in the third inning. The catcher, number 13. Here is Salvador, Salvador Perez. He was 0 for 1. Oh, 
little nubbler. And Perez is thrown out, and that'll retire the Phillies here in the third. They go to the bottom of the third. Five nothing Phillies. Here's Kristen Norpia, the left fielder. Spent at 273. Has a five game hitting streak. One ball and no strikes. One and one. Two and one to count. And the count is three and one. He walked it. North is a leadoff base runner here in the third inning, and it will bring up Jake Aridia. Aridia's batting here for the first time. He takes the ball, and Billingsley is using that curveball. Bunted foul. The ball is a one strike. Bunts it, and he'll tag Aridia out. The Norfield will move up to second base. Sacrifice is good. Nice bunt, unassisted. One strike. Two strikes on Stella. Fly ball left field. Brown back there. He will make the catch. Almost lost track of the ball, but puts it away. There are two outs here in the third inning. And here's Dexter Fowler. Fowler fouls it. Another fly ball to left field. Brown going back, and he will make the play. He's had a lot of work in left field. He makes the catch. Uh, Matt Vasgersian will come your way in the fourth. After three, it's 5 nothing Phillies. swing and he popped him up and no ordinary pop up at that this is way up there he'll put it away without much trouble and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth yet not always an easy play heading toward the stands out there in left field he's got a few different things to worry about over there but he stays with it to make it look routine here's big Ryan Howard now as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to shore on the first, and the shift pays off there as Howard is retired for the second out. And right here, if the defense is playing straight up, 
you figure this has a good chance to get up the middle. But you can see the shortstop lining up just to the right of second base, so the shift works to a tee, and they get the 6-3 put out. Stepping in now, Chad Billingsley. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. How about that swing? That wasn't just a little bleeder off the end of his bat. He swung that bat like he knew what he was doing up there. Here's Ben Revere. As he swings at the first pitch and lifts a fly ball out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia, as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Anthony Rizzo will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Starting with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Now the pitch. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. And we've seen a lot of that pitch here in the first four innings. And it's been real effective for him. And that's another example right there. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. Throw over by Utley. One away. A reminder, we'll have game two of the series here on the show in HD with coverage coming your way tomorrow afternoon. As you get a look there at the scheduled starters we'll have in store. Jorge Soler will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Now the first pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. Base hit. And he lays out for it, but he can't pull it in out in deep center field. And he'll round it and try for third. And he will make it into third with a one-out triple. I think it's fair to say that this is going to be the best shot they've had so far to get on the scoreboard. You can see the hustle there. He's all the way up to third on the one-out triple. Miguel Montero comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. And, you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Montero waits. Now the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And, and he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. And even on 1-2 and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 5-1 ball game. Well, this is the drawback to bringing the infield in. If this ball's right at somebody, you can hold that runner at third. But if it's not, you open up some bigger holes out there. This ball's not hit incredibly hard, but it finds one of those holes. Here's Starlin Castro. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. He might have thought he'd be getting another dose of that curveball because he was way behind that one. Oh, had him off stride that time and it's 1 and 2. Yeah, I don't think that pitch wound up where he wanted it to, but it did the trick. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. And you know. As a hitter, with the runner at first and one out, I think I'm going to see something down in the zone because I know they want me to hit into a double play. Instead, they go ahead and they challenge him up, and I don't think he was expecting that. Well, this is hit hard towards second, but right there for it is the second baseman, Utley, and that ends the inning. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Chicago. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Phillies five. And the Cubs won.
Back alongside Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, and Chase Utley getting set to start things out here in the Phillies half of the inning. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Now here it comes. And a good pitch there as this ball sent out to straightaway central for Fowler. And he's got it for out number one. This has just been a rough day for this guy so far in this one. Everything they're hitting is hard, even if it's right at someone. Jordan. Brandon Jordan will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. First pitch on the way. And now here's another fly ball. This one carrying out to right field. Soler is in his tracks now. And that's out number two. Michael Franco will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Now here's the first pitch. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. But a foul ball here, 0-1. And the pitch. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And that one is out of here. Planted into the right field bleachers. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. So bases are empty here with two gone, and digging in the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. First pitch coming. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Denorfia is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But the Bills tack on one more on this solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the Philly six, and the Cubs one. Chris Denorfia will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. The pitch count there. One pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Yep, another good job right there to get that first out. And you can pretty much bet he's probably thinking to himself, anytime my boys give me six runs of support, I think we're going to be okay. This is a pretty tough hole to climb out of now. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And here's a ball hit in the air. And it's a foul ball. 1-1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land foul shy of the wall. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, he shoots this one on into center field for a base hit. And on the mound, here's where you got to keep pitching like it's a one-run game. You never want to get in that relaxed mode where you think, yeah, I've got some cushion. I, I can afford to give up some hits. That'll spell disaster. From the stretch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And with a runner on first, you better have a catcher that you can rely on if you're going to bounce a change up on an 0-2 count. Luckily, he does. He'll try again, 1-2. Jammed him a little here as this is hit softly to the left side. Utley for one. Back to Howard, but it's not in time to get them both. 
And here's why you always go in hard at second base. This could be a very easy double play ball, but you see the aggressive slide here. That really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up getting just one on that play. Excellent aggressive base running. Here's Dexter Fowler now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Fastball runs off the outside. It's 1-1. One and one. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's 2-1 and one now. Comes set. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Line hard. Foul. The 2-2 one more time. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Full count pitch on its way. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. One left for the Cubs. They trail six to one. Blake Parker will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 50, Blake Parker. Salvador Perez will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. Well, that's highway robbery right there. Boy, if he doesn't knock this thing down, I don't think there's any chance the second baseman was going to be there in the hole. And not only does he make a great play, but he also hits his pitcher right in stride, which is not always as easy as it looks. Dominic Brown will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. He flashes you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Here's the first offering. And this will be fouled away. Now here's the pitch. And a curveball, 79 miles an hour. It's in there, 0-2. Here it comes. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And at this point in the game, your defenders will love you for this. He's been able to pick up the first two outs of the inning here on just four pitches. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Really? Now here's the pitch. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0-2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. I ah, can't get him to bite this time. It's one and two. Here comes a one two. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here's another one, too. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Again, a one, two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They hold on to their 6-1 to one lead. 
Anthony Rizzo will get settled in here as the Cubs look to get it going in their half of the sixth. First pitch to him. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And with the big lead, he can afford to take a few chances with that fastball. And here, this one works out for him because this is nothing more than an easy fly ball. In is Jorge Soler. First pitch here is another fly ball. This one out to left field. And this will be taken in by Brown as he's got it for the second out. Yeah, and this ball was hit pretty well, but it was always going to stay in the ballpark. And you see the left fielder just drift back and make the play on the warning track. Miguel Montero is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And you would think that this heat would start affecting him sooner or later, but it hasn't so far. If anything, he's getting stronger as the day goes on. One run, four hits. One error for the Cubs to this point. And now for the second batter in a row, this is in the air out to left field. Oh, and he misses it! Well, the sun is definitely out, and it is a factor, but boy, that's a ball he should have had got to shield that sun with your glove, use glasses, flip downs, anything, but you got to catch that baseball. Starlin Castro will come forward now in an RBI opportunity he probably didn't think he'd have. Yeah, it certainly didn't look like he'd have one, but now is where you really have to make teams pay. Nothing will demoralize a team in the field. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play, and that will compound matters even further. And remember here, on a ball that's out of play, the rule states that a runner gets the base he was running to plus one more. So that's going to allow him to come all the way in to score. Here's Javier Baez. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. 1-0 on the way. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Remember, this inning, it should be over. He's trying to find that fourth out. And he's having trouble with the strike zone. In there, two and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Revere retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Philly six and the Cubs two. Lines of Wrigley Field. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Hello, everybody. I'm Steve Lyons, and this is MLB 15, the show. Hello, everybody. This is Steve Lyons. Welcome to Hi, everybody. This is Eric Karras. Welcome to MLB 15, the show. Hi, everybody. This is Eric Karam. Welcome to MLB 15. Seventh inning. Chad Billingsley will lead it off here in the seventh. He's still in the game. He's only given up one earned run. Here's a foul. No balls and one strike. Phillies with a six to one lead. Here in the six to two lead here in the seventh inning. Billingsley hits this one. This is gonna drop for a base hit. And Billingsley 
is a leadoff base runner here in the seventh. Oh, uh, bring up Ben Rivera. He homered to lead off the game. He is two for three. Turn two now. Let's go. Ball. One ball and no strikes. Phillies with eight hits in this game. The Cubs with four. There, oh, nice play, double play. Well, Castro has, looks like that ball, when it goes through the mound, it's going to go up the middle. But Rizzo, uh, um, uh, Castro, and Baez, a great tandem at shortstop in that second base to keep that ball from going in the hole. He, they've kept a lot of balls from going in the hole in today's game. But the Phillies have a 6-2 lead. Utley takes a strike. Little pop-up. Oh, Montero. And a quick inning. We go to the bottom of the stre seventh stretch time at Wrigley Field. The Phillies lead it six to two. Here's Kristen Norfia. He's 0 for one. He walked in the third inning. Outside for a ball. Phillies will get some bullpen activity. One yeah. ball and one strike. As Billingsley has thrown 83 pitches. He'll pop up over the third. And oh man, Beltre should have had that one. There's one ball and two strikes. They're going to score that in error. Phillies have had three errors in the game. And two coming in the bottom of the six where they should have been out of the inning. Utley will put it away. And they'll get Ryan Sweeney. He will be a pinch hitter. And you see 86 pitches for Billingsley. Sandberg wants Billingsley to try to finish off this inning. And then they can use their bullpen in the bottom of the eighth. That's a base hit to center field. Phillies had it, the offense going in the early going of the game. But after the fifth inning, they've been quiet. It's Tommy LaStella. Curveball up high. One ball and no strikes. Little pop-up. And one out. Two outs here. Here's Dexter Flower. Flower is 0 for 3. Got that in for a strike. Got that over. No balls and two strikes. Another foul. 0 and 2. 
is trying to finish off the inning. There's a base hit in the left field. Pitching coach going to the mound. They're trying to give the freighter some time. This one is hit well, short and near. He'll put it away. And a retired the Cubs here in the bottom of the seventh. They leave two on. We go to the eighth. It's six to two, Phillies. Neil Ramirez will be the new pitcher for the Cubs. He is 5-7 and seven with a 3.61 ERA and 57 innings, 22 walks, 55 strikeouts with 58 games. So face Brandon Jordan. Jordan is one for three in today's game. And Jordan fouls it, one strike. Jordan Sky, this one the left field. This ball is well hit. It is gone. That ball was carrying and carrying well. A home run for Brandon Jordan, number 11. And the Phillies now lead it 7 to 2. Well, here at Wrigley Field, this ball can carry. And Jordan just goes, hits it over the bleachers. That is the fourth home run for the Phillies in this game. Excuse me, their fifth. Franco has two. Brown with one. Rivera with one. Franco hits this to deep center field. Could it be number three? No. Dexter Fowler will make the play. It looked like it was going to be number three, but it hung in there for Fowler. One down there in the eighth. There's Adrian Beltre. Beltre hits this one. Oh, what a play. Throw over the first. They get him. Castro makes another good play at shortstop. It's two down here in the eighth. Here's Salvador Perez. The Phillies RBI leader. Ball and no strikes. Perez, that's fair down the left field side. And Beltra, Perez is at first. He has a single. He wasn't going to try to stretch it in for two. As Perez's first hit of the game. And he brings his hitting streak up to nine games. Here's Dominic Brown. Brown hits this one in the air to left field, and this one will be caught. Takes the Fowler again. And a retired of Phillies in the A for Brandon Jordan. Bam! A solo shot. Phillies with a 7-2 lead. All 
All right, Sandberg will come out. And make a double switch here. Your attention, please. These changes for Philadelphia. Now pitching and batting in the eighth spot. Number 30, Justin. Afraid is one, one and two. Freitas is ready. He has a ball. One ball and no strikes. Orgas Stalea. Three balls and no strikes. Phillies. Trying to win their third straight. Uh, actually, win their second straight. So they lost to the, the Rays in the second game of the series. He walks. Solaire walks. Lead off base runner here in the bottom of the eighth. Here's Miguel Montero. Cubs had their opportunities to really get some things going here. No Phillies had two errors in the bottom of the six. Only came away with one run. And the Cubs is a strikeout there. Montero not happy with the call. Here's Sterling Castro, who is one for three with a single. One strike. No, yeah, I give a lot of credit to the Phillies. I mean, they have hit the long ball, and that came wasn't a problem at the early part of the season, as they were struggling to hit the ball out of the park. They were getting their wins, but they weren't hitting the ball out of the park as much as they've done at the latter stages of the first half of the season and into the second half. There's Javier Baez. Xavier Paul is in the game at first base for Howard. We didn't mention his name because this game went by pretty quick at a pretty quick pace. Two balls and no strikes. That over. Well, hammered in a right center field. Short and going back, and he will make the catch. And that'll retire the Cubs here in the eighth. We go to the ninth. 7 2 Phillies. Sammy and Trejo will be a, a pinch hitter for the Phillies. And Trejo skies this one to right field and it is caught. Trejo is batting at 250. He only has four hits this season. He makes a play as one down. Here's Xavier Paul batting at 293, nine home runs, 28 RBIs. And away Dominic Brown is playing. Him and Paul are alternating playing times when they have left handed and right handed pitchers pitching. So Paul not getting the playing time that he wants to play. One ball and one strike. But when he does get that playing time, he does take advantage of it. There's a foul down the right side. It is one ball and two strikes. Oh, 
On the Rizzo, he'll step on the bag and it is one out. Excuse me, two out. Kind of losing focus here. Here's Ben Rivera. He is two for four. He is homered and single. A fair hits this one to deep right field. Will it be number two? It's going to go over to the wall. Rivera's going to round first, head to second. Now he's going to try to go to third. The play at third, not in time, as Ben Rivera has a triple. So he is a double. Away from the cycle. He's homered. He's singled. He's tripled. A double away from the cycle unless he gets another at bat here. Here's Utley. One ball and no strikes. Utley send this one in the gap, the right center field. Rivera's going to score. Utley will end up at second. He's got a stand-up double, and the Phillies lead it 8-2 here in the ninth inning. It'll bring up Brandon Jordan. This is what Jordan did in the eighth. Crack the home run. Jordan hitting the long ball since coming back from injury from the All Star break. Jordan in the center. That's a base hit. Utley rounding third. Here is the play at the plate. Not in time. And the Phillies lead it 9 to 2. On an RBI single by Brandon Jordan. And Mikel Franco will get a shot here. Yeah, Fowler played very, very deep. Here's Franco. Franco hits this one in the right field. Is hooking foul, and it will be caught. And Assad is retired. The Phillies do add two more runs in the inning. They have a 9-2 lead going into the bottom of the ninth. Your attention, Jerome Williams will come in with a 5-1 record. He's got a 6.08 ERA in 50 in the third innings. 13 walks, 36 strikeouts, and 42 games. Here's Kristen Norfia. And, and Williams is here to try to just eat up an inning here. One out here in the ninth. Wellington Castillo will be the pinch hitter for Ramirez. No balls and one strike. Hit foul. That is a strikeout. Two outs here in the ninth. Here's Tommy LaStella. One ball and no strikes. One and one. That's foul.
Fly ball right field short. It is there, and the Phillies will take game one from the Chicago Cubs as they win it by the score of 9-2. to two. Phillies made use of the long ball in this one. Getting five home runs. Two coming from Mikel Franco. He's got three more RBIs to add to his total. And he is the player of the game. Franco tearing it up here. Since joining a big club in June. Five at bats, two hits, two home runs, and three RBIs. Phillies win it by the score of seven, to, excuse me, nine to two. We will talk to you tomorrow from Wrigley Field when the Phillies and the Cubs square off for game two of this three game series. But now, this is Brandon G saying goodbye from Chicago.